Okay. A lot of people are asking me about open roads. If they can change their open road cattle increase um, into a teardrop. Now, uh, I don't have an open road, obviously, because I'm not at the store this month uh, on the home, so I'll simulate one with just a stiff hat with a cow increase. Okay, the same thing. The top is you know, hard, you get that problem with the depth and stuff. All right, I can only guess that people are thinking that they don't want to look cowboy anymore, and they want to mellow the hat out and just make it like a regular casual hat without the cowboy touches. I could understand that. Uh, I could definitely relate to that. I see lots and lots of that. Um, people buy the Western hat and eventually they say, you know what, I'm no cowboy and I don't want to project that look. I feel a little silly. Uh, I just want a regular old hat. Something a little bit less, you know, Western. Um, my answer is yes, you can teardrop it, but it doesn't take the best teardrop because it's very shallow. It's a shallow hat, um, super shallow and uh, it doesn't have enough bagginess to take a nice teardrop. Yes, you can do it. I've done it at least a dozen times, maybe, I don't know, half a dozen to a dozen, maybe more. 25 years, you start, you know, gets a little hazy. But um, a lot of people, I warn them and I tell them, you know, you might not like it. Um, do you recommend it? And I say no, and they say go anyway, you know. And sometimes they say, Kev, you were right, can you change it back? and I change it back and slightly screw up their hat just a little bit, you know, there's like creases from the teardrop. But um, yes, what happens is that you gotta open up the crown, all right? If you're gonna do this yourself, you have to open the crown first to do the job. You gotta get rid of all these creases that you see. It's popping back to these creases automatically, your open room, so what you wanna do is put it on a round form like a, I don't know, a styrofoam wig head, the bottom of some sort of pot or pan that's round or something. I don't know what you can use. Um, maybe you could use your actual head or something, as long as it's, you don't burn yourself. Um, you have to just knead out with your hands, you know, just kind of with your fist, knead out all of those, just rub them out, you know? rub one out. Get rid of the cracks and the lines and creases till the thing looks open crown. When it's as open crown as you can, you get rid of these lines, just go on the actual lines themselves, like here to there, rub them out like this on the inside. Make sure the hat is as open as possible. Okay, once you do that, the first step is generally make a center crease. You're gonna notice how shallow it is. It's like way shallower than this hat. The second step to making a teardrop is you go to the back and you make the, the back flat. There's no more V here anymore, it gets flat. So what I do is I put it over my chest like this, and I bring it down so it's flat with the smallest little smile, upward curve, like that. It's basically flat with tiny little upward curves on the ends, I guess. Okay, now this is shallow, but uh, it'll be more shallow than that. The next thing you got to do is kind of, you know, you could do like this. You put your head in there while it's not hot but warm, don't burn yourselves. And then just kind of trace around and you'll wind up, you know. You gotta get that teardrop shape and also the depth. That middle bubble has to come up. And nobody likes that bubble. We don't like how it looks, but you need it for the depth. So you gotta basically trace around there. It's hard for me to do this because I skipped that step of opening the crown. Okay, so there's your, your basic teardrop. You get the idea. There's one area that's screwed up here. But if I pop it back, I'll lose it, I think. Okay? So there's your teardrop in the back. You're going to get that, but it's going to be shallow. You're going to have to make this area here extra high to compensate. Otherwise, it's going to balance way up on the top of your head. So make this bubble part higher and give it a nice arc and stuff. The best way to test it is to put it on your head. Get this to the position you want, near your ears or something, where you wear it. You'll know, it'll feel comfortable, if you're right. And then trace around. Now, you gotta do it while the hat is warm. The idea is, you gotta heat it up, but not so much that you're gonna burn the hell out of your scalp. So you steam it, steam it, steam it, steam it, steam it. Wait, feel it, feel it a little. Put your hand in there, you're burning yourself. No. Then, cool, put it on, trace. This is really dangerous, you know, it's a, you shouldn't really put hot hats on your head, but you could put a warm hat on there, I guess. Um, 
Another way is if you have something round, like on the table, like a round form, a steel form or whatever, uh, a glass hat head or something, you could use that and trace around it. That's what I do with this store. You see me working with like a steel hat stretcher. They're made by Garve, G-A-R-V-E. And you can find them online used. Some of them heat up, some of them stretch and heat up, some of them just stretch. Uh, mine doesn't heat up, the one I use, I never use it. Um, but uh, the heat is not necessary. Basically, you want it as a form, so buy a broken one that comes together but doesn't stretch or doesn't heat up. You know, get something like that cheap. Use that as a hat form. You know, it's a good hat stretcher. It's very strong and it's also a really good, cool-looking antique. You could buy kind of cheap on eBay and stuff. And uh, it's called a garb hat stretcher, a steel hat stretcher garb. You could put in one of those alerts so if it ever comes up on eBay, you get like a email that works so yeah you make something like that in the back mine's a little uneven you get the idea though and you got to make that bubble in the middle by basically putting your head in um, without that it's not going to work because the open roads are just so shallow but that's it um, so my answer is yes um, you can do it you can, definitely can do it i don't recommend it i say you should sell it um, put a uh, put a notice on the bulletin board at your grocery stores. That's an open road with a picture. Just print it up on your computer, you know. And like, uh, you know, if you got a nice newish looking one, that's a two hundred thirty five dollar hat. Um, you could sell it for a hundred bucks. If you've got one that's beat up, sell it for sixty five or something. You know, maybe it'll give you fifty. Who knows? But um, changing it to a teardrop, I don't recommend it. Um, It'll come out so-so. It'll look like some kind of hybrid, like, not great looking thing. So yeah, you can do it. Does Kevin recommend it? I think I've overstated my case, maybe. Um, I don't recommend it, really. It's possible. Anything is possible. You could really put a pork pie in it. You could put a, um, a diamond crown. You could put a gust crease. Uh, pretty much any crease that you could think of. You could open open crown it and just shape it yourself like a fedora, that might be cool. But I think a centered crease fedora might work better than a teardrop, but uh, cattleman crease is the way to go, I think. You could try snapping the brim down. It'll look way less western if you just snap it down. It'll look, you know, less cowboy and more like a dress hat with a cattleman crease. Now, a center crease, as is one I've never tried, um, to open one up and just center crease it, it, it's hard to say. I'm going to say probably it's too shallow to do a center crease to probably hit your head. Most likely, just uh, stick with the old shape that God gave it, you know, and don't mess with it because uh, you'll have good luck. It's two minutes. I'm finishing up, okay? Close to Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.